And we're back. We are now on the third level of the first Ninja Turtles game for NES. We are uh, in the first building, the one that has missiles. And we are at two health right now, obviously. But I'm not too worried because no nothing in here really poses that big of a threat, especially with Donatello. And this enemy party, I mean. And we are now at full, or not full health, but half health. So now I'm really not really worried about anything. If this were the enemy party with the flame guys and the beetles that die bomb you, the enemy party that it is now, then I probably would have been a bit more concerned whenever I came in, but the other enemy party isn't even really threatening at all. You only need one little pack of missiles to beat level 3 here, and you can jump up there if you do it right, which I'm not. Uh, here we go. There we go. Got the missiles. There's a full pizza over to the right. You can just walk over this hole. I think that's actually the only way to get over it. Kill off these guys. Alright. That, that was weird. Oh well, though. I'm surprised that it, by this point in the game I haven't accidentally picked up a sub-weapon. Oh well, though. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, usually in this level I would stock up on scrolls for all the Ninja Turtles, but... Uh, I'm, since this is a sub weaponless run, I'm obviously not going to stop in there and do anything. Uh, you, you'll need scroll or not scrolls, but uh, rope to beat the game. But you get a set of rope in the next level, and you only need one set to beat the game. And I'm not going to go into that building for pizza, especially since I'm at full health right now. This is the building right here that I was talking about. You can go in that door or the one over there to the right. I usually go in the one to the right. But yeah, we don't need anything in there for this run, so may as well keep on going. There we go. We have seven missiles left, and yeah, that's more than enough to beat this level with. I always like this level a lot because it has a turtle van in it. Keep on going to the right. Run over the foot soldier. There we go. And here we go. Just shoot a missile and keep driving up and you'll kill everything in your path and take out the barricade. There we go. And that guy over there in the steamroller just drove off screen and killed himself, so whatever. There we go. Waste a missile over there. There we go. Use another missile to kill off this steamroller. There we go. Shoot the last one into the building. Fire some little shots. Park it in the convenient parking place and here we go get that little mechanical shredder or whatever the heck it is out of the way. There we go. Usually if I can keep this enemy set around then I usually do because it's probably one of the least threatening ones in my opinion. There we go. Probably the most threatening enemy in the group is these little mechanical shredder guys and not even they're threatening. So long as you got the timing down to where you can destroy the head right as it comes off which isn't really hard to time. Throughout this little sewer area here, pretty much you gotta jump and swing your weapon. Jump and swing your weapon. Just keep doing that. Otherwise, if you don't, you're gonna end up getting hit into the water and have to start all over, and it's quite annoying. Makes me wonder how the Ninja Turtles can't swim in the water whenever they are turtles, especially, you know, whenever they can swim in the dam in level two. Maybe because it's sewer water, it has turds in it or something, and they just don't want to touch it. But you'd think living in a sewer, they'd be used to that. And hiya. There we go. And into the final building we go. Uh, truthfully, this level kind of sort of has two bosses, two, two in a row. So I'm kind of concerned about that. But at the same time, they're not really that hard. Or at least the second one isn't. The first one, I guess, is supposed to be like Metalhead or Slash or something. Heck, it's basically a Leonardo clone. And I don't really know how to dodge all of its attacks. Usually I just pummel it with a couple of scrolls and it's dead. But we'll, I'm sure we'll be able to get through it just fine. The second of the two bosses, though, is pretty simple to kill in my opinion. Get the little mechanical shredder guy out of the way while we're up here. There we go. Up the ladder. Jump up there in just a second. There we go. And here we are. just like a little Leonardo clone as you can see. 
And apparently I can't jump over it. Oh my god, there. Took out half my health to kill him. Jeez. Oh wow. Usually he comes down and then floats back up. And dead. <laughs> okay. Wait for the missile to go off screen before the enemy blows up. Or did it destroy a building? Oh well. Oh, Splinter says. Get the blimp to chase the helicopter. You can do it. Well, that is it for part three.